Account-based marketing is a strategy and tactic that a lot of sales teams and marketing teams are employing today. And HubSpot has a very cool set of tools called target accounts. They give you a head start on kind of using that methodology. So I'm in my portal. I jumped into target accounts here. HubSpot's going to ask me a couple quick questions just to kind of get things started. I'm going to say, I'm doing all three of these is why I want to use ABM. It's going to ask me to put in some sample target account companies, and you can change these later. So I'm just going to put HubSpot in for now. But once you turn these tools on, HubSpot's going to create a couple different properties for you that exist on your company records and exist on your contact records. One of those is going to be job role, and that's going to sit on the contact level. There's also going to be an ideal customer profile tier, and that's going to live at the company level. So now using my workflows or you know manually from my records, I can indicate when a company meets a certain threshold or has all the right demographics or is engaged in a certain way that they're a tier one, they're a tier two, they're a tier three type of company. Um, you can, you know, anytime in this tool, come in and manually select other ones. But let's quickly look at how we would make a workflow to automatically do this. I'm going to make a workflow from scratch. I'm going to say this is a company based workflow for now. And then I'm going to set up my triggers. So let's say we have company properties and we're going to say that their industry is any of these couple right here. Because again, we're just doing an example. And we want to have, say that their company, uh, let's say their country is in the United States. So U.S., United States, USA, et cetera. And then we'll just hit save. And then the action that we can include here is we're going to come down and find set a property value. And in this case, if this was all the criteria we needed to say this person or this company is going to meet our new tier, then we're going to say this is an ideal customer and they're going to be a tier one and hit save. So it's as simple as that. So whatever criteria my company and my organization has determined, you know, makes a great fit for our for our products or our services, I can come into my workflow. I can select that information. I can set up a workflow that's going to automatically do it. And then I can have all kinds of other actions from here. So if a company is a tier one, what does that mean? Do we automatically assign them to our top salesperson? Do we send them our top marketing messages? Do we make sure we're we do some background research and figure out what industry trade shows are going to be at today. There's a lot of different possibilities here. Thanks for watching.